Task Force X did its job and the world is safe. For now. Suicide Squad may be a critical punching bag, but it still has its rewards for comic book diehards, including a bunch of references and homages for the faithful to enjoy. So let's pick up Harley Quinn's mallet and start smashing some Suicide Squad Easter eggs. Watching the Watchmen. Remember when Deadshot looks into the clothing store window and starts moping out about his daughter? That huge yellow smiley face behind the mannequins wasn't there by chance. In DC Comics' 2016 Rebirth event, the world of the Watchmen officially entered the DC Universe, and it may only be a matter of time before that happens in the movies as well, with this and similar Easter eggs like the Watchmen graffiti in Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice helping to set up the inevitable. Frosty Flunky while the Joker mostly employs nameless goons, one of his men sports a name tag reading Mr. Frost. Brian Azzarello's graphic novel Joker was told from the perspective of Johnny Frost, who goes from being Joker's chauffeur to becoming his top man. The scenes of Harley shaking her stuff in a nightclub and Mr. Frost being the Joker's number one guy are likely both inspired by Azzarello's story. High Rise Tribute this blink and you'll miss it easter egg is pretty easy to figure out if you know your DC history. The giant building the team infiltrates to rescue Amanda Waller is named after comics writer John Ostrander. While Ostrander didn't create the original team that debuted in 1959, he did come up with the modern Suicide Squad in 1987. What goes around, comes around. When Captain Boomerang convinces Slipknot his neck bomb is a dud, the scene mirrors what happens in the comics after Boomerang tells Slipknot that their wrist-mounted bombs were fake. Of course, in the comics, the bomb only blew off his arm instead of his head. Uh, you win some, you lose some. Dancing with the Devil in the Pale Moonlight Some people might prefer Harley Quinn's classic black and red costume, but at least her original outfit appears in the movie. When the squad prepares to go to Midway City, Harley pulls out a familiar looking outfit, but tosses it aside in favor of something a bit more revealing. We're bad guys, it's what we do. We also got to see Margot Robbie don the classic Harley getup in a flashback sequence, which recreates artist Alex Ross's iconic cover to 1999's Batman Harley Quinn. Time away from Mr. J. After being let down by the Joker a few times throughout the movie, Harley appears to have some second thoughts about her maniacal boyfriend. Huh? Her budding friendship and flirtatious chemistry with Will Smith's Deadshot is a callback to what happens in the comics and the animated feature Batman Assault on Arkham, where things occasionally got hot, heavy, and downright weird between these two Batman villains. I got an itch. I thought you could help me scratch, cowboy. Flashback. This easter egg is kind of obvious, but it's still pretty awesome. Captain Boomerang's introductory flashback sequence shows a jewelry store robbery in which his getaway is stopped by Ezra Miller's Flash. It's only right that Captain Boomerang is thwarted by the Scarlet Speedster since he first appeared as a Flash villain way back in 1960. In an interview with Collider, director David Ayer revealed that this scene was shot while Suicide Squad was in post-production. This scene was directed by Batman vs Superman director Zack Snyder while he was filming Justice League. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw, and leave us a comment to let us know if there are any other Suicide Squad Easter eggs that should have made the list.